finding out about the trade, I, until I became a sheet metal worker, I never heard of one in my life. And my, my parents were always Teamsters, they were union, so I was come from a strong union family, but I just didn't know that there was a trade specifically for sheet metal. I had a little welding experience uh, working at my grandfather's company beforehand. Um, I was laid off from there and was just looking for welding employment and the shop I found in 2005 was looking for a welder and it just so happened to be a sheet metal shop, so that's how I got into the trade. I worked out in the shop for say, two and a half years, just doing the regular welding, fabricating, forming, and then a uh, position opened up here in the office. One of our detailers, programmers, was retiring and they were looking for guys with computer experience and technology experience and I just so happened to have that. The thing I like about detailing and drawing is I get to use my artistic skill and artistic you know, view of things and kind of create things. That's what I love about it. That's what I like about music and about art. It's, you're taking a flat sheet of paper and you're turning it into something beautiful. Whereas here we're taking a flat sheet of metal and we're turning it into anything under the sun you could possibly imagine. I'm a night instructor with the union, so I teach safety classes and try to spread that to members. There's also um, upgrade classes that we offer to kind of help guys expand their knowledge, whether it be welding or AutoCAD or uh, architectural or HVAC. We do offer those classes, so I like to help out and be an educator that way. But I also like to go get into the local schools and spread the information about who we are and what we do to some of the high school kids and middle school kids who might not necessarily be familiar with us. One problem we face in the sheet metal trade is that we don't have a whole lot of name recognition. When you say carpenter, plumber, or electrician, everybody knows what you're talking about. When you say sheet metal worker, they think, oh, those are just the HVAC guys, if they know that information at all. The best part about talking to the kids and going to the schools is that for so long, everything's been beating their heads, just college, 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 college. And they don't necessarily know there's other avenues out there or avenues that don't require you know, crippling student debt or a four-year program without any uh, training in the process. You know, one of the selling points I speak to these kids about is that you know, if you're going to college for your career and you know what it is, by all means, but if you're just gonna go to college and try to figure it out while you're there, it's a very expensive way to get an education but not really have any training, not have any guaranteed job placement. You know, what we offer is not only do you get a two-year degree by the time you're done with our apprenticeship, but you're on the job training, you're working four days a week, you go to school one day a week, you're getting paid the entire time, and you don't have to worry about job placement when you're done because you're already working in that trade. I tell them if you told me when I was 18 years old that I'd have a two-year degree and be making six figures without ever stepping foot into college, I'd tell you you're crazy because I, I didn't think that was possible, but this is what is possible if you work through the trades. And Tell them we need a lot of young people joining the trades. The average construction worker is 55 right now, and that, those are bad numbers for us. So there's going to be a lot of positions opening up once more people retire, and we need the young the workforce to get younger, to get smarter, to get stronger. And we need a lot of these kids to come in and sign up and help us out.